Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to another tutorial. And this is going to be about how to create a turntable. So in the previous tutorial, we took our character and posed her using Mixamo. This time we are going to create a turntable to show off the model. Now there are two ways you can show your model or to create a turntable. And I'm going to show you both. One is how to create a camera that will rotate this around or two, how to rotate your ca your character itself. Now, the reason why I'm showing you both is because it all depends on how your lighting is laid out. So for example, if you have really nice lighting with rim lighting and you've set up a bunch of really nice lights to get some nice highlights and you don't really want the lights to move, then turning your character would be the best way to go. However, if you your lighting is perfect in all angles, then perhaps rotating the camera will work just fine. I'm gonna show you both ways. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's say you have even lighting in all directions, the character looks great everywhere, and you're just gonna go ahead and just need a camera to turn around her. What I would suggest is open this up right here. This is your resolution gate, and this will show you where your character is going to render. If your character gets cut off here, her head's going to get cut off in the render. So this is really nice. The next thing I'd like to do is select all of my objects and then just press the letter F, which will focus the character. And then I'm going to just kind of pull back a little bit just to make sure the character's in a good place. All right, now that I have this, let's go to animation. Over visualize, we have something called create turntable and let's go to the options. I'm going to reset my settings just to make sure that you and I have the same settings and you'll notice that number of frames is 24. 24 frames per second, that means that this will rotate in one second, that's not going to work. So depending on how many seconds you want this character to turn, depends on how many frames you want. So usually I just put in 180 and then you have to choose between clockwise or counterclockwise. So I'm going to choose the default like clockwise. You have to select your geometry, which I did, and then click on turntable. So what happened? One, you're going to notice down here that you're now under turntable camera. So what it did is that it created this new group and this group is animated between 1 to 180. If I open this up, there is in fact a hidden camera. Notice that it's gray, dark gray, and that's because it's hidden. And if I rotate this, you'll see that the character is now rotating. What I like to make sure is that the character is in fact in the center and it might be a good idea to turn off the grid just so you can see. And if you want to, press play. Now, if yours goes buzzing through, right click on your timeline, go to playback speed. I'm playing every frame max real time. If you want to, you can click on real time. So again, rewind, press play, and you can see your character rotating. So one of the things that would have probably been better is that if I selected the turntable, because right now the focus is not there. So what I'm going to do is delete this group one and try again. So again, I am going to select, I'm going to start off with the best angle for my character, select my base as well, press F just to make sure it's focused and then zoom out a little bit and visualize, create turntable. You'll notice that again, we're in turntable and then I can watch it. And that's way better. The base is in the center and the character is revolving. I'm going to go ahead and cut myself 180 frames so that I don't have to watch it. So there you go. She starts. And you'll notice that there's a little bit of acceleration and deceleration. It's really up to you if you want to keep that. I personally like to keep the rotation even. So what I'm going to do is select a group that has the animation on it. So remember, it's not the camera that has the animation, it's the group. Go to Windows, Animation, Graph Editor, and you'll see that this is the graph, the animation graph. I'm going to select these two points and just make it straight. Now if everyone in play, you'll notice that it's very even. By the way, if you guys watched the previous tutorial on how I created this um, this pose, I added this uh, sphere. I created a kind of like an effect. It, it just looked weird that she didn't have anything in her hands. I did this tutorial on how to create like this energy shield and I just shrunk it. So it's got this animated glowing uh, texture that I thought was really cool. And I'll post the link below if you guys are interested in looking at this. But this is actually animated. So when I do the turntable, it looks like she's holding an energy ball. All right, so that is the first way of creating a turntable. So we have a camera called turntable camera, and now it's looking good. So I am going to render based on the turntable camera. So in my render settings, so click on render settings. When you're ready to render, you want to, well, mine shows two cameras. I don't need it to render twice. So I'm going to delete one of them. And you want to choose the turntable camera. 
that is the one that's going to be rendered. This is very important. You want to make sure that you choose the turn table camera. I'm going to go back to panels perspective perspective. So here we are back in perspective and I'm going to show you the second way of doing it. So this one involves making sure that everything is in a group. So make sure that the head's in a group, that the base is in a group, everything is in a... Uh, I'm going to grab everything and just group it all together. This is going to be my turntable group. So the purpose of this is to just show you how to animate this without using that turntable camera, just in case your lighting is in a really good place. So what I'm going to show you is that we're going to animate this group ourselves. So starting at one, notice that if I screw up, nothing happens. I'm going to go ahead and click on, so shift R will only keyframe rotate X, Y, and Z. Then I'm going to go to 180 frames. And in the Y, I'm going to rotate this direction. Now it's up to you if you want to go positive or negative. I'm going to go to negative 360 and then shift R. Now it's okay if you guys click S. I'm just trying to keep it, you know, controlled. Again, make sure you have your turntable selected. So now let's take a look. So you can see that the character is moving. Perfect. Same story. I'm going to go to Windows General Editor, oops, Animation Editor, Graph Editor. Select the two keyframes, flatten. And now when I press play, it's rotating. So very nice. She's in the center. Everything's looking good. Not, I'm kind of taking an, a look to make sure nothing gets cut off. A little bit of the bottom is okay for me. And now she is ready to be rendered. Rendering. So let's go to our render settings. And this is where we're going to render. The important part is to make sure that the camera is rendering through the camera that you're looking through. So in this case, it's perspective. So just make sure that you choose perspective. And then you can, then it will render this, which is pretty sweet. And that is how you render your turntable. So it's up to you which one fits your needs. One last thing about this one is that you can actually create an animated, you know how you get those close-ups? Well, you can actually animate your camera to go up as this character starts rotating because the character is actually keyframed. So for example, I might actually create a separate camera. So go to create camera, camera, just because I like to look at it in both ways. So this is my new camera. Press the number six if you want to see it and go to show lights to hide the lights. Let's say I want to render this. And let me get in a little closer here. Whoop. If you would like, you can animate this camera animating upward. So for example, I'm going to start here. Of course, I got to start in frame zero. Maybe it's a good idea to see what I'm looking at. There we go. See how close we are. I can go ahead and keyframe this camera. So I'm going to keyframe this one and then around 180, I'm going to lift this up to up to here. So the effect is, oops, I got to go here. As the character is turning, the camera is just going up and taking a look at her cool character. So what I'm going to do next is go ahead and pause this video and I'm going to render out my turntable so you can take a look at it and see how this character looks like. So I will be right back. And there you have it. You now have a character turntable. They both do the exact same thing, except it's up to you which way you want to do it. So that is how you can quickly create two types of turntables, one with uh, using the visualized turntable, or you can select a group and just animate it yourself. So those are the two ways. I hopefully you found this information helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions by leaving a comment below. If this has been helpful and you guys posted in social media, I would love for you guys to tag me because I'm always a big fan of people that, of artists that grow using my tutorials. So please tag me in Twitter or Instagram. Um, and of course I have a Facebook community which you can find all the links below. Thank you again so much for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe, of course, because that always encourages me to create more videos. And 
Don't forget to take a look at academicphoenixplus.com where you can sign up for my newsletter, which will give you some information about what's going on on my end. And also you can get free eBooks, free downloads, free trainings, and so much more. So take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. It's got a lot of stuff just dedicated for you. Thank you again for spending the time with me and I will see you next time.